Hey and uh, welcome back to the Chaos stream. We've actually got some ET action coming your way. Finally, we're going to have the Win Fact versus an Nexus game, which everybody's definitely been looking forward to seeing. I've got Mies next to me, as you can see yep. on the stream. We're, uh, he's going to be my somehow be my co-commentator because he's a bit of a professional shoutcaster these days. Totally. And uh, yeah, hopefully we're going to give you some good action on the ET game. We just, well, I think uh, we're just waiting for Mouse to fix his microphone again. Somehow he's managed to. Uh, Stop it from working. So I reckon we should start things off by asking Mies, how mad are you at going out in the group stages and doing worse than Cam's at LAN? Well, I don't think I'm as mad as Snoop. Uh, I think Snoop's actually gone home now. Uh, no, nobody's seen him. He didn't even say he didn't even say he was going, but he just wasn't in the hotel. So I think he's gone home. I'm actually quite worried about him, to be honest. <laughs> I, yeah. I, I don't know if every I don't know if everybody on the stream has actually seen Snoop, but uh, <laughs> yeah, if you've seen he's Snoop, a bit of a just sad like, looking if, child. If someone's seen Snoop, please text me and tell me like what he's doing. <laughs> We were kind of scared, so... <laughs> we're worried for his safety. You never know what's going to happen to him. But, but yeah. No, it's uh, always a consolation tournament why, to win. Why, why, did you, uh, why do you think you've uh, done so badly this event? Why do you think you've gone out in the groups when everybody was... Well, I mean, you came, you came top four seed, so why, why do you think you've done so poorly as, uh, you know, as you actually have? Well, obviously, Oxid was like... Against Oxid, we played far. It was like a good game for us, except losing Adler. And then, I don't know, it was just one bad game against Nordic, really. That's all it took. Uh, just didn't play as a team. Like all the problems that we had online, just sh like even though we fixed most of them, they showed up again. Yeah. We just forgot to play as a team, and uh, yeah, it went downhill for us. So, so would you say that the uh, would you say that the land pressures got to you all, or just just a bad day at the office as such? Uh, bad day at the office. Yeah. And maybe like Raz, I think maybe suffered a bit from the pressure, but like the rest of us are all like quite experienced with land, so. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, we've got Tux, who uh, he's won land before. We've got you, who Third almost second, second. won land before. <laughs> yeah, got quite a few top names in your lineup. I mean, whether it's from old times or new times, I think everybody's. I think everybody in our lineups won EC. Am I correct or not? Have you won EC? Well, yeah. Uh, have you I won EC have. properly? Oh, not no, you properly, haven't won EC but properly. I won EC with Impact, technically. Yeah, I played well, for them. Well, basically, Mies won has never won EC either. So, technically, I might Mies is the worst player that, oh, in the team. That's the thing. For everyone watching on the stream, um, the Euro Cup final between Queens and Winfact is going to be played tomorrow, hopefully, uh, on LAN. When Mies is going to lose again. Well, yeah, I'll be murking for <laughs> Physic. This, is, this isn't 100%, but it's probably going to happen. Because uh, otherwise, it won't get played until August. So, look out for that. It's going to be good. There you go. So make sure you tune in to me as losing yet another <laughs> EC final, because we all like watching that. Uh, we just, yeah, again, it's an X is causing the problem this time, I can promise you that. I think it's Mouse messing things up again. So who's your, uh, who's your top three now that the group stages are over then, Mies? Uh, I guess you would have put yourself somewhere up there if you well, hadn't yeah, knocked, I had knocked out by Nordic 4-0 in well, a like pretty kinda... uh, disappointing loss, if I'm completely honest with you. <laughs> I kind of want uh, Winfact to win it now, but obviously... Do you think they can? Mm. Do you think they can beat an Exus who looked pretty pretty sick yesterday? What I'd like to see is like Winfact doing this final and Winfact win. What I think I'm actually going to see is um, Dignitas coming first, an Exus second, Winfact third. That's my prediction. Why don't you think an Exus are going to come first? Uh, I mean, I, I said before the LAN that they were going to bottle it somehow. I, yeah, but. they're they're don't get me wrong, they're a really good team, but like LAN is like a different game. And when you've got players like when Knight and Reload get together, yeah. they and like when like, even on even if online, like even us, we didn't make it out the group stage. And last time we played them online a couple of days ago, we beat them on six of seven maps. <laughs> like, online but only. I yeah, but I know they <laughs> dig online and never that good. But as soon as they get to LAN, they step it up a notch. They just I don't know how they do it, but they rape. It's it's so weird. Yeah, I was actually talking to Reel on the train over, and that's exactly what he said. As soon as they uh, as soon as they come to land, everything just seems to click. Yeah, they just need to get this they get get this stuff together, you know, and they get it all on lockdown. I mean, I was watching them earlier, and the comms were just they had no messing about, you know, none of this, no whining at each other. It was just night, night telling them to do this, night telling them to do that, and boom, they <laughs> pretty much laid the smackdown against Almighty. I mean, Almighty what? They held off for about 12 minutes on Gold Rush, and then Shouldn't Dignitas the basically defense, yeah. said, well, I'm not going to let you have the tank for a good eight minutes, <laughs> and then kind of locked it down, and then, yeah, well, you know, you know how it goes. And then Dignitas won Radar, I think. 
because uh, actually both uh, both teams picked Gold Rush for some reason, but they had to uh, they had to play Radar instead because obviously we're not going to watch Gold Rush twice. That would be yeah. a bit disappointing. <laughs> um, yeah, trying to find an update for the uh, for why we're waiting for so long. I'm, I guess it's still microphone problems with mouse, but yeah, it is still microphone problems, which is a bit bit annoying because they fixed everything wrong with the PC or the uh, little you know niggly bits here and there, and now. They've just got one more that's popped up out of nowhere. So hopefully we'll bring you the game pretty soon. Which team has surprised you the most at the event? And I guess it would be Oxid or possibly Nordic. No, they Oxid. We, they I, you Oxid, out. we absolutely destroyed Oxid. Like I didn't think, <laughs> I didn't think they were good at all. I have no, I've not seen the demos yet. But I, I'm going to go home and watch them because I've got no idea how Nordic lost the Oxid. It's I've, Nordic were a way better well, team when we played them. They lost because Oxid full held them at the tank on goal rush, yeah, I don't and know they were slightly depressed. Yeah, I don't know how that happened. Slightly gutted. Um, <laughs> they all went into snoop mode. Nord they all yeah, felt like going on. The home. biggest surprise to me so far has got to be Nordic, from what I've seen. Um, there's not really been any... like Spot 16 going out is like the major upset so far. So i got to say it's Nordic, yeah. All right, then. I'm going to have to think of some more questions now. I was going to say something. Possibly. Go on then. I can't remember it. It was you can't about. can't remember? Or you can. You got talking about. Uh, what were we talking about just a second ago? Two Before seconds that. ago? Yeah. Well, the last conversation we had was actually your top three and then. Oh, yeah, the top three. Um, uh, what's your top three? My top three? Yeah. Well, I actually said the Nexus would bottle it at LAN. I reckon WinFact can win it. But I don't think yeah, they're I going want, to. I want them to win it, like, obviously. So. Uh, <laughs> I can hear Herbal wants to be a super sub. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't mind Herbal as a bit of a super sub, but I got my SKK buddy Mies here on the couch. <laughs> and when live time comes, he comes alive. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Don't you know it? A lion comes right out the cage. <laughs> you serious? In fact, he slips out like a slippery fish, and it is absolutely incredible. <laughs> The kind of stuff he can uh, he can come up with on occasion. Don't know if any of you have heard me uh, shoutcasting on his own, but I tell you what, that's some uh, that's some heart beating stuff. Oh, thank you, thank you, Rizzo. It's incredible the emotion. Yeah, that's what Out I am known world. for. My emotion into <laughs> ET is. Uh, I mean, it's quite it's amazing. almost it's almost as good as MVC. <laughs> and <laughs> okay, that, come on, man. That's a whole different level of emotion. <laughs> You bet. I just give it the tactical I reckon I Herbal would be quite good on the emotion, actually. Herbal would have it all on lockdown. You've got a lot of pressure in enemies. Got to perform. Like you didn't perform in the uh, in the group stages, in unfortunately. In the group stages, yeah. Because uh, me just team went out again. We've talked to him already about that. <laughs> What do you think of All Might as a team then? I mean, uh, I know they've got, they've got, you, you, technically you've got the old rivalry of uh, you and you and Cams. There's no rivalry we've also, between me and Cams. I never talked to him. <laughs> bit of a, a bit of a Baggies versus Cams situation as well. And obviously you'll be on Baggies' side, I'm, I'm sure. Yeah, win fact, win fact would smash Almighty. Like, I don't think there's any competition there. Do you think you could beat Almighty at LAN? Because uh, <laughs> judging by the, uh, the look of things, I don't think you could. Because I think they placed higher than you at LAN. You're loving this, I, I can am. tell. You're absolutely I can't get this. enough of it. Fortunately, we've only got one player left to ready up, so uh, <laughs> I can get out of these uh, horrible, horrible questions. And unfortunately, oh, unfortunately, they've gone live, so here we go. Finally going to be able to bring you some live ET action now. Winfact versus Anexus. And they're about to go live for the lineups we've got for the Anexus side. Mouse, Ross, Squiz, Xylos, and Jay, which is higher. For the Winfact side, we've got Wyadro, Dyla, Purfo, Buggies, and Tokoa, we're going to start off by having a peek at what Squish is going to do. Baggies opens things up with a support fire frag. And Squish is going to switch direction with the rest of his team. Jumps around the tree, gets a frag on the purple. And then we're going to see them push up towards this side door. Baggies is going to get gibbed or probably going to tap out. And I guess the Axes are going to respawn after that. As Zylos chucks a grenade at the side door. Yes, they have respawned. And the, the Winfuck side are going to hold off and just see if they can defend this flag for as long as possible as the uh, engineers get the dynamite down at that side door. Wire just not going to peek outside because he's pretty sure somebody probably jumped up the side of the slope. Which is a pretty common thing nowadays in ET where everybody's doing these crazy jumps. I'm pretty sure the... Uh, the win fast, so I can all do them as well. Ross, double Thompson frag there, but then he gets laid out by Takoa's MP40. Dyla with a grenade. 
As we wait for this side door to blow, the wind factor are going to spawn back and uh, set up some kind of defense That's here. That's a Purfo bad goes full spawn down. from Perfo there. Exactly. Leaving Baggies alone as an engineer to defend the flag, but he's going to take out Jay, which is good work. He's saved them some embarrassment. But uh, the rest of the Nexus side are going to push for side and get taken down by Riadra, but double Ralph grenade frag, and Baggies is left alone now. Or are they going to go for flag or CP? What do you think? Well, it looks as if the next side are just having a look at this side exit for the flag. Buggy self kills. And Mouse, oh dear. Oh. It's going gonna, it's gonna to somehow go down to that landmine that Haya tripped and ran away from. They're going to respawn though because it was on short spawn. Ten minutes remaining on the map, which is radar. Mouse is going to have a peek through this side door again with his uh, team killing friend Haya, who's going to run in after taking a grenade to the face. Go down to, goes down to Buggy's MP40, but Mouse, as always, is going to clean things up. Pushes into the flag and Xylos gets a really nice uh, grab on that flag there. Forces the respawn. Purple goes down again. Wires yourself kills and it looks like the Annexa side are possibly going to move up towards this side exit because the main hasn't actually been destroyed yet. To Cohen and Dyer having a bit of a sit in this CP as Dyla pushes out a bit. He's going to definitely have to uh, pick his game up because from what I saw in the group stages, means uh, Dyla was probably the worst player in the WinFact side, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, what do you he's, think um... about that? Well, he gets a lot of stick, but like to be fair, he does get it done. Like he has that sort of play style where he'll do like something random, random stuff. And yeah. like, like he he gets when he gets away with it, it's amazing. Like as we just seen, then he's already got a double end before he fragged there. Is higher finally finishes him off, and oh, nice dodge there from Takoa. Almost got a headshot rifle there, and oh my god, what can you do with Takoa headshotting people like that? Xylas has been revived, and there's a. Uh, not going to be any more grenades chucked into this side exit because Hyatt's right. cleaned it up from the back. And now it looks as if they've damaged the CP and they're going to get that respawn point, Moose. Right there is exactly what Dialer shouldn't be doing. He's He had like a good position. They were holding it pretty comfortably. Tako was like being a defensive medic. And Dialer went upstairs and pushed out the door and got killed. Like there was no need to do that at all. That was just a tactical mistake on Dialer's part. Yeah, exactly. So. I, noticed, I noticed Raz likes to do that quite a lot, actually. He seems to just, every single time they start to push into the CP, Raz is just... Dive bombs out the doorway and he's uh, never really helping the teammate, helping his teammates, you know, setting up a crossfire or anything like that. He just seems to be uh, always trying to get them in the back of Squiz. Absolutely flattens Baggies at that truck. He's not going to be too happy about that as he respawns as a field up now. And the uh, Squiz is going to kill out Dialer MP40 again before he gets taken down by Mouse. And uh, it looks as if the next side are just finishing things off at that CP. They're going to get the players on it now. Take the east parts away. I think they're in the hands of G. And I can't see any uh, any WinFact players in sight of the documents at the moment. I mean, I saw... Oh, well, I kept suggesting, actually, that the uh, the enemy were going to come and sneak up behind him. And then the game that I didn't suggest it, Squall ran all the way from the uh, the back spawn on the Axis side all the way around the, the route that Jay's taking now. And somehow managed to back Ridge Baggies and take the Ducks back. And I think that was when WinFact kind of gave up hope. Oh, man, that would be so, terrible. Yeah, that wasn't the, uh, the best of situations to be in. So you see Haya just take the documents slowly out the main door. Dyla gets an MP40 then. frag, but he's... Uh, Only oh. just. <laughs> <laughs> gets quite lucky there, as the documents do get put in the back of the truck. Just before the landmine, uh, just before the landmine went off. Now Takoa's going to lay hell into Xylos as he goes down to Mouse. Mouse is Thompson there. And uh, the Annexa side looking reasonably strong just for the moment. I reckon Winfact they're probably one of the better teams on radar. So I can see them holding out for uh, definitely another five minutes at this West Radar patch, especially with Bags's landmines getting the job done. No, There's Wyatt who does up. go down there. Ross is going to look to try and take these documents away. And uh, he's not going to do it too well. Oh, he's done well. by the goldfish mine. The goldfish mine. On full mine. spawn to the goldfish mine. Called goldfish because... Yeah, you have to have the memory of a goldfish to die to it still. Exactly. And uh, that's what that's the, what Ross is having difficulty with there. But Squiz is the round and he can go through, but no, he gets taken out by Riadra's rifle grenades. He got almost as badly smashed as a car windscreen, actually, Ross did. <laughs> if you think about it. Yeah. Unfortunately, that is actually a, a related joke, which we'll probably go into at some stage later on, because the NX side are pushing down the main road now. Jay, Mouse and Ross getting a frag each. And the Annexa side looking reasonably strong yet again as they try and push up through the trenches now. Dialer MP40 before Xylos takes him out. And now they're going to start to do the little jumps up towards the West Radar Pass now. And Ross actually thinks twice about doing it because there's somebody in this forward hut, which is Wyadro, I think, who's going to get a double frag there. Baggies is helping out in the back, trying to get a crossfire down. Mies, Squiz even. How could I even... 
How could I even mix up Squiz and Mies? I mean, they are two pretty good medics. I'll give them that. But they're nothing, uh, let's be honest. He's got oh, nothing Tekoa on Squiz. Oh, Takoa saves the day. Puts Ross on full spawn. That was that was good play from Takoa. That, so, that is exactly what Takoa does. That's, that's just Takoa all bit, over. Bit of a game saver. He just sits at the back. You don't, you, you don't expect anything. And out of nowhere, he just comes in with like a frag or one-liner. Even on Vent, he just... <laughs> So it surprises everyone. Takoa's one-liners on Vent are pretty impressive, I've got to be honest. But he, Takoa's going to get done now by Jay, uh, taken down for full in his back spawn. And uh, it's, re it's up to the other four Windfuck players to defend these west parts. Well, they've actually just self-killed. Oh, sorry, was he wasn't uh, full spawn. Well, I thought he was on full spawn as well, to be honest with you, but apparently not. As we see them all he spawn at that forward hurt. He is actually now on full. And I make that three plays for the Windfuck side, possibly on full here as they make their way up towards the west radar pass. Baggies. Proning, taking his med packs out, Dross and Hire get the this final frags. a bad position, and only Riyadro left. Indeed, and well, he's already gone take this away. There. Yeah, and I think it's gonna be a seven minute gonna time. be a good game. As the ducks get put into the back of the truck. The oh dear. This is gonna be a tough task for Winfact if they want to pull this one back, I think. I can't actually see them. Uh, I can't see Winfact setting a, setting a time against 6.53, to be honest with you, Mies. Well, it's definitely a beatable time uh, if they don't. Well, it's definitely a beatable time, but I just I don't think they can I don't think they could do it against the Nexus. I think they're just a bit too strong. I think they at could, the moment. I think they could do it, but the land I don't know if they could do it with the land pressure on top of things. <laughs> Baggies topping damage, by the way. Get all this KK Baggies. Sorry, I'm not actually touching your leg there. <laughs> I'll go for the mouse. I promise. I I see. <laughs> and uh, to go with lowest damage, that's rare. <laughs> That's a good point, but he took hardly any damage as well, so I guess he was just in the uh, yeah. in a bit the uncomfortable positions. He was playing a lot of defense medic and stuff, which Indeed, uh, like you said, he just likes to sit at the back and just He was doing it right though. He was, yeah, he was definitely doing the right thing. I reckon we're gonna go in eyes for Takoa first off now as the uh, the game does begin. Right for grenade early on from Wyandro. time for main here, fifteen seconds. You can only go main on that one. Well, They've gone main and Zylos' support fire somehow stretched all the way up to that main road and taken one out. But I think the rest of the uh, Winfax side are just going to keep moving on forward as Takoa and Purfu, the Dutch combination, are going to come up. And uh, Takoa, as we were saying, gets the job done again with a headshot onto the uh, opposing player there. And he's going to make that a double frag before he revives his teammate Purfu. And then the Winfax side are just going to hold off this main gate and Purfu. That's like Takoa. Free. Three kills already for Takoa Indeed. in this game. He's absolutely. Oh, four kills for Takoa already. But Zylos has actually made a comeback through the main gate here. I think Ross's grenade is going to take down Squiz and he's going to finally pick off the uh, opposing frag. And Zylos is going to get the. Uh, surely get the defuse here on the main gate. Yes, he does. Baggy's jumps for the flag. Terrible jump over the uh, over the railing there. Even though he did get needed by it's Jay in the flag room. Very unfortunate for Winfact. It was a good attack and Takura especially was out. Just did the right thing every single time. But it just like all fell apart when the rifle came through the door. Indeed. Um, Zylos coming in the back there for the uh, for the defuse. And now it looks like the Winfuck side are going to make their way back up towards this side gate. Finally get a dynamite down with 5 minutes 34 seconds on the board. They're going to really hope to get a, some kind of a clean, you know, a clean push forward now. Try and get the flag in one, the doors blown in one. Get the CP hopefully in one spawn because if they get held up at the CP, that's just going to be very demoralizing for the... Uh, for the win fact guys, I mean, well, you know what it's like. I mean, well, I mean, I say you know what it's like. You were actually in the good position yesterday where Flop, Pewter and Snoop were just going wild at the CP for a, a good five or six minutes and there was just nothing the, uh, was it Oxid? There was nothing that Oxid could do really for uh, the entire time. And the match has been paused. I don't think that's going to be Baggies' nose. And if you are wondering, Mies did punch Baggies in the face. <laughs> wow. And he's now got a bleeding nose <laughs> because he's that mad. Baggies just has a, a weak, weak face and uh, gets a nosebleed all the time. Like he's already, this is his second nosebleed since uh, since his land started. Yeah. What a woof. He had one in the car on the way here, and uh, he's already had another one. So. So realistically, what we're saying is that he's a bit of a woofter. <laughs> yeah. Bit of a. It's, six, it's also six lands. Bit of a special boy. Six lands in a row now. He's had a nosebleed at land. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. It's all the pressure building up, man. <laughs> All the pressure. This doesn't want to lose. And I can imagine that as soon as they unpause, his nose is going to start bleeding again because of the pressure. Clearly. So means. What are they going to do differently if they want to sort themselves out? If they really have to, you know, because in my opinion, they've got to set a time. They have to win radar if they want any hope of going through, to be honest. 
Well, win fact actually, I've um, I played I played them quite a lot because I'm like pretty much their backup, so uh, I played yeah. with them a lot. And one thing I will say is they have a they have a really good CP attack. Like yeah. of all the teams I've played with in five on five, I'd say win fact have like the strongest CP attack of them all. They it's very organized. They know what they're doing, and it t sometimes takes like two, like one or two times. But they'll uh, if they get it when they get it right, it's just so organized, so perfect. Yeah, just, they'll have the CP. And uh, it should be good. That's what their hope. That's what their strengths are on radar. The CP attack. So hopefully they won't waste too much time, and they should get it within like the minute or so. I was about to say that's definitely going to be good if they. A can, uh, I say a target is like four, a target would be like four minutes if they get the CP like four yeah. minutes, and they have a very good chance of getting both yeah. east and west. Indeed, is this revenge for us taking. <laughs> if you want to know what Baggies is on about, today, by the way, win fact after every is it every map. Uh yeah. Every after map. Ev after every map, they take a new tag. So as you can see at the moment, they've got the, the blue and uh, black tag, which I think was designed by Tyler. Tyler this time. Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler the Tyler. And it's paused again. And it's paused again. And I reckon it's going to be microphone problems again or something like that. I think like it's that. spawn points. Spawn points? I don't think it's the actual spawn points. I think it's like the config or something. Someone will have like a messed up config. I don't know. Uh, oh, well. We'll sit through it. What else can we do? I guess, yeah. Well, what else can we do? I mean, you could go punch baggies in the face again. <laughs> I mean, just look at this guy. He's a bear. I'm hench. He's an animal. So hench. He's an absolute machine. Oh, Squiz is going to tell us a joke, though. So, uh. Want to hear a joke? <laughs> no, nobody does. Oh, he's not going to be. He's not going to be throwing in any jokes anytime soon. I reckon we should have. I reckon we should get Squiz on the cast if they go out. <laughs> that, that would be an interesting one. Squiz on the mic. <laughs> Everybody would understand him. Easy bash. Squiz talking big. Coming from Wyadro. <laughs> Probably the most talkative guy at the LAN, Wyadro. Can have a good old chat with him, can't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> he just, it's his poker face. He stares you, he says something, and then he'll stare you down until like, you laugh. The poker face. Yeah. <laughs> Potty's having a good sing song by the way next to me here. You can't actually see him. You don't want to see him because he does look like a bit of a bum. But we're going back in live now. <laughs> back in live in the second round of Raider. And uh, Takoa throwing down a couple of headshots straight away after the pause. Mouse is going to oh get taken out by Takoa. I just love watching Takoa with a pistol, man. It's just, like I said earlier, there's nothing you can do when Takoa's got the pistol out. I mean... He might as well just drop MP40. Just take, just take a limited Tom, uh, a limited Colt. I tell you, if Takoa could have like, yeah, if you could, if you could, instead of having an, a Thompson and a uh, Colt, just have like a Luger and a Colt. Takoa would he do could it. Could have a Kimbo's. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't a, even be a Kimbo's. Kimbos. He would just have. He would. He would just prefer to have two pistols in his inventory. Exactly. <laughs> and uh, I think the win facts are looking quite good now. They've got a dynamite down on main. Dyla does look as if he's going to try and retake this flag. And I guess because he's done that with the e so much ease, the NX side have definitely fallen back to this CP spawn point. Yeah, they're not taking any risks. They're gonna be, they yeah. know uh, it's what's to play for here. Yeah, they actually, uh, what was it? One of the last games I shoutcasted for them, actually. Um, they uh, they didn't have, oh, we're going to have a good time watching Ross fail, putting oh, landmines down here. Yeah, the main gate does blow up, and <laughs> all of the win facts I self-kill. Ross is now a bit unprepared for this main rush as he uh, chucks a grenade over towards the main gate. Weapon whapped back out. And yeah, now we're going like to see the... going to do one of their side pushes. Yes, indeed. Just probably Ross, go to it. I just noticed, yeah, that's a good point. Thank you. <laughs> you can uh, you can do the clicking. I'm not used to this clicking stuff. <laughs> I'll let you take control of the mouse if you want, by the way, means. As we see Xylos now with the rifle grenade ready. He's only got one more left, so he's going to need an ammo pack if he wants it's to do any more damage. One. No, it's not. Oh. Dialo with a doom and Panzer. And that's actually this is what I was, this is what I was talking thing. about. This is the win fact attack that destroys the CP. They know what they're doing. That's definitely their strength on radar. That Panzer was sick. They just waited for the right moment. Tyler jumped in and boom. Out goes two. Squiz did get a double frag in the mix in the mix of things, but it's not gonna be enough when there's five more players left to frag. And it looks like the win fact side are actually gonna take these East Radar parts. And they definitely got to get him all the way home. Maybe, was that a, a mistake by the Inexus side, falling straight back like that and being so defensive? Or was that just, like you were saying earlier, just a, a good job by the Winfax side, just having that that side attack just on lockdown, you know? Well, yeah, it's uh, they were caught by surprise. I think um, Inexus haven't been cracking against Winfax in the last couple of weeks. So uh, 
they haven't really, they didn't really know this attack was going to happen. Yeah. But there was nothing, nothing much they could really do about it if they weren't prepared for it. So. Indeed, as uh, Purple and Baggies get a, a couple of headshots between them on top of Ross there as he goes down. He's going to know Purple this is, jumping down towards the Villa spawn, Dyla self kills. And I guess if Purple doesn't self kill here, he's going to wait for his teammates to regroup down by this back Villa spawn. And with 2 minutes ten, 11 seconds remaining on the clock, they're going to have to get some kind of a move on. I know they can leave it, they can literally, on this map, they can leave it to the last, what, 20 odd seconds before they really have to just literally just pile yeah. in. But realistically, you want to be piling in as much pressure as you can around this stage of the map if you really want to, you know, have that last 20 odd seconds of just, you know, we can just dive in. You definitely don't want to go prematurely there either and like waste a, waste an attack. You need to wait for the right moment. Radar isn't a map you can just brush. You've got to get the kills before going in or else you're just going to die. Exactly, just as they're trying like, to do here, but Xylus is going to reply nice and early with an MP40. Why are jump is continuing to get a couple of frags though? And, uh, Unfortunately for the Winfax side, they're getting the frags, but because of the position the Axis players are dying in, they cannot actually get the Gibbs onto the Axis players. So now, as we see, Mouse gets an MP40 frag on a bag. He's Purfo is going to jump over towards these West Radar parts, and he's going to grab him. He's not going to get in away though, because Ross is MP40 straight on the back. Dyla with a double, make that a three-man Thompson frag there for Dyla. Not going to get any Gibbs, because I don't think he's uh, close enough to give them. Why is he giving a bit more cover in fire as well as a field up in this MG nest? Purfo with a Thompson frag as well, but I don't think, oh, with Purfo for missing the jump across, that's yeah, not going to do got, them any favours. I think he was getting down, shot, yeah. yeah, indeed, shot in the mid air. Mouse with the oh, jihad Dyla. grenade there onto Dyla. And, um, I think Dyla missed well, the spawn though as yeah, well. Yeah, definitely, because, well, he died there and he would, unless he did an instant force tap out, you know, boom. He would not have uh, he would not have made this one. I can't see Dyla doing that anytime soon. Mouse MP40 on the baggies. And who as you just said, we're definitely running out of time here for the uh, win fact side. Airstrike chucked up onto that West Radar patch. Ross runs all the way to the back to get some cover. And as you just heard, 30 seconds left on the board. Dyla with another Thompson frag as they push across these fake radar parts. Jay with a double MP40 there. He reloads his gun. And the rest of the NXA side start to make a form a crossfire on this fake radar parts. And unless the Winfax side do take the parts in the next couple of seconds, I can't see them setting a time. 10 seconds left on the board. Yeah, it's Ross and Squeeze opening fire. And uh, with like GG call from coming in. I don't think, well, I don't think Winfax really, well, I was, I'm going to say they didn't really give themselves enough time, but then again, it was, well, would you put that down to bad defending or just... Yeah, definitely. It was The defense was definitely the problem for Win Factor. Um, the attack, as you saw, like, they were getting, they were making good progress. The CP stage was phenomenal. Like, just first push, they went in, they got it. Like, and to do that to a team like a Nexus... It's a pretty good thing. It's a pretty good thing to do, indeed. Shows that they're definitely capable. But, uh... How yeah. do you know? Do you know what the uh, map system is, by the way? Like, how do they actually select the maps? Do they eliminate all I the time? I thought they or? just selected, like. Because it's. I'm gonna check it out. There, all the games I've casted have been Gold Rush Supply and Radar. We've seen no Frostbite. We've no seen frostbite. one round of Adler Nest. That was it. I'm pretty disappointed, if I'm honest with you. <laughs> I thought there well, was gonna supply, be more. Well, Gold Rush Radar are the best maps. <laughs> so, no, can't not. really blame people for picking this. They are. <laughs> I hate them. <laughs> you know I hate them. And the uh, attack change them. coming in. I don't know whose <laughs> tag this will be. Well, who was first? Oh, it's Perfo's oh, tag. Oh dear. And Perfo has whipped out a oh, horrible dear. tag. That's almost as poor as Nev's D and D tag, with the black and yellow, black and yellow. I just don't know what those colours are supposed to represent. And purple. What's that? I don't know what those colours are supposed to represent. They're horrible. Oh, Perfo's colours. Yeah. The worst. It's worse than the Annexus tag. <laughs> Battle of the tags going on here. Is that why Annex has changed the tag? Why? Because WinFact is doing this, or did they just change it? I don't know, they just... Xylos just picked this like really ugly thing <laughs> and they sort of stuck with it. Pretty ugly thing. What is yellow, light blue and red? It's <laughs> awful. <laughs> it does look pretty cool actually. I'm a fan. And uh, hopefully Squiz is uh, reconnecting isn't going to cause any more delays, and hopefully Baggies' nose isn't going to burst. <coughs> I can imagine it bursting, though, if we uh, if we go down to the wire here on supply. And uh, actually, thinking about it, Win Fact, again, another good team to attack this map, especially the backstage, when they've got to try and get the gold in the truck and then the truck away. I saw them play against Signatas. They got the truck. They had eight minutes to do the map, I think, and they got the truck to the end of East, as in outside the East Gate, with about 50 seconds left, and then Dignitas just, you know, 
Shut what them down. kind of woke up in, in effect and just, you know, just locked it all down. Do you yeah. think that's going to play in a win facts favour then on this map? I'm not sure what an Nexus are like on supply, I'm actually. not sure who picked which map. Like, I I think a Nexus, from what I remember, aren't too good at supply. So I, don't, I can't see them picking it. See, Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, so I was about to say, from all the conversation I've been having with them, I would have <laughs> said, because everybody seems to think that win facts are probably one of the best on reader. Yeah, I'd so have thought that as that as well, but... I don't know. Well, there you go. Maybe an Nexus just wanted to pick Supply just against WinFact, even though they're not actually as good as we think they are on it. As the match goes live, Mouse dives downstairs with his grenade in hand, chucks it out towards the main gate. And uh, here comes the rush. Squeeze with the grenade there onto the core before he can do any more damage. Ross self-kills. And now Baggy's going to make his way in. Mouse is going to absolutely dominate him, get him gibbed. And now it's all down to Purifull. Gets the kill on the Xylos on full spawn, actually. That's going to be really, really bad as we see the rest of the Winfax side all pop up from behind the hill. Oh, right from the from Wyagio as well. And uh, it's looking pretty good for the uh, for the Winfax side if they manage to get underneath the uh, middle level now. Squish with a nice pistol headshot there just before he goes down to Dylas Thompson. And uh, it looked for a moment there that the Winfax side were going to get in and get that flag. Oh dear, not with high again and double frags like that all over the cave exit. Dyla with a Thompson frag replying, but he's not going to get to. Oh, Wyatt oh. with a double grenade there. Can't get the That's mouse. definitely yes, going to open things up with Takara getting the third. Russ gets the gib though. And unfortunately, even though they got that double grenade, they weren't able to get the gibs on the uh, on the, on the the players necessary. And then somebody just cleaned it up from the back. Are they, uh, are they put enough pressure on the uh, an exercise to get this flag, do you think, Moose? Uh, I don't know, Dial is coming in now. He's going to go up against Squiz and take oh. the flag where it's going to be mistimed and they're gonna spawn back that's very unfortunate it was very close but dial just mistimed his jump for the flag he should and have the nexus have a good spawn time for it i think he should have waited three more seconds to cap it on 13 37 he would have got it then for sure definitely a little bit saved by the spawn time <laughs> yeah definitely but pretty uh, unlucky oh hello three frags of win fact all coming in at the same time there i think they're all going to be on about 10 or 15 seconds respawn there if they could possibly get in downstairs they might yeah, be able to get at least a plant get, on the gate they're definitely going to get downstairs now and uh try and maybe get some spawn kills i don't think they've got the charge to get a plant so indeed they're only running one engineer and four medics i believe and uh, maybe because they're driving the truck all the way down that the nx side are just either holding the flag or have spawned back and I, I think can't, they've actually spawned back. I can't imagine why they would just spawn back there. It's a bit of a waste of a stage, really, don't you think? Are they playing it too safe? Um, yeah, I think maybe they're like getting a little nervous. Um, well, I mean, they're, well, just, yeah. they're just not taking risks. Like, we saw on radar, they fell back quite early as well. It's probably, uh, it's, it's pretty smart to do online. You don't really want to take unnecessary risks, so. Yeah, this is a good point. Do you think it's, yeah, they just want to practice this stage, says Potty. <laughs> <laughs> they just want it's to probably a little less of our practice in just trying <laughs> to like to be as safe as possible. Obviously that can play against you when, uh, if you if you play too defensively. Yeah, indeed. But uh, FFE is going to come in on the top of the CP roof now, which Ross is standing on, takes all the med packs, jumps off the top, and is now going to take over inside the CP. Higher with a three-man kill there for Higher. Mouse gets the fourth. And that's going to stop this win fight push over the top of the of the uh, main hill now. It's higher and Ross opens fire onto this win fight push. Higher again getting the frags as Dyla comes out through the cave now to try and get a plant onto that main gate. Zylos gets Dyla, gets his players attached to that CP and oh, higher just about stops that. Oh no, no I think he's been he's revived. revived. Yeah. yeah, he is. The main gate is probably going to get planted here. Yes, it is. Depot gate planted, and it looks as if the uh, the wave are going to be in a good position to possibly hold this with Wyagio and still actually alive and ready to uh, stop anybody defusing that. Amaze with a stunning headshot frag there onto Perfo, and uh, I can't see any engineers here for the next side. Even though Zylos has just got a double MP40 frag there, and unfortunately I clicked past it. him. Oh, Dyla with a Thompson frag. And Purifull manages to stop that engineer with his stand, and that's going to be a depot gate goodbye for the Winfax side. They just need to take the truck all the way to the end position now, and uh, with 11 minutes, 4 seconds on the board, they're in pretty good stead for the uh, for the rest of this map, Moose. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, you can't really hope for a better time, really. This is like everything going... This is the sort of time you set when everything's going good. Oh. Um, they're going to be pretty, feeling pretty confident. If they just keep the pressure on now, uh, I can see them setting like a nice eight, nine minute time, which is strong for supply, really. Well, they actually uh, they actually almost beat that eight, eight and a half minute time that I think Dingatas set against them yesterday. So uh, maybe, we'll be able, maybe we will see them set a pretty 
pretty rapid old time in this uh, in this round of supply as well. Xylos double frag there for the NX side. East wall is going to go down. Why are just going to hop in the main gate and get absolutely destroyed by the hole in an exit side there? Is he oh, almost takes down the engineer before he planted that dynamite on the west deeper wall? And now the uh, next side push out, try and get some people on full. Wyajo does the little jump into the east there. Higher pushes out, and he's going to get gibbed on full there by Wyajo. Really well played from the pole as Xylos mops the rest of the uh, east attack up. Grenade from Purple chucked over the west wall. I think Purple should have self called there. This is uh, with Higher being on full, they really want to be pushing through the main with five. But... Indeed, and also Purple is an engineer with that one less, possibly with that one less, uh, less medic. Which I thought Baggies would have been the engineer, by the way, not Purple. Is Baggies? Yeah, Baggies is the engineer. Oh, well, Baggies is gonna outgame Mouse, go around the back of him, round the outside, and get that truck in position. But no, he's oh. not because they're gonna steam out. Ross takes out Baggies, and uh, they live to fight another day, so to speak. Indeed, as Ross gets picked up there by Mouse, Purple dives in the west exit. Mouse hitting nothing but here, there, as Purple sneakily gets the truck in position. And Winfact definitely looking strong at this stage of supply for them to uh, get upstairs. Squish pushes out. Oh, he got the game on the baggies there as well, actually. That's going to be really great for the NX side. That's one less player to worry about as they move in through this main gate. Xylos gets grenades down on the east, uh, on the east exit. Mouse double MP40 frag again just after Higher managed to uh, open things up for them. And uh, yet again, the Winfact side forced right back to this CP spawner with... Well, this is kind of the dream spawn time is in effect for the uh, NX side if they want to push out. But they're being, again, like you said, a bit too defensive. Whenever I see them play this really aggressive defense, it always pays off for them. And at the moment, they seem to just be hanging back, hanging back. Maybe they've been, like you said earlier, a bit too defensive, a bit too early on. Well, Winfact have like a really aggressive attack as well. So uh, if you, to go to, like, Xylos pushed out there and it didn't go very well for him. They just pushed <laughs> straight down and killed him. All the Winfact side are fast and very aggressive, so it's, it is a good way to defend by being defensive, I guess. Indeed, as Purple takes out higher before he can do any more fragging there at the main gate. Wyatt looks to do the main jump again up towards the east. I don't think he has actually made the jump. Oh, actually, take back. he has made the jump. It's just he's not going to get any frags off the uh, off the benefit of doing it. That spawn. Zylos with the rifle grenade on the baggies. Pushes up to the east stage and it looks like he's going to ping one out to possibly kill two. Nope, going to kill one and I'm pretty sure he would have hit two with that rifle grenade as well. So that's going to slow the Winfax attack down a lot yet again. Rifle grenades coming in from both sides. Zylos chucks some more grenades out towards the east wall. And now the Anexus side are going to just self-kill and set a position possibly just outside the spawn. And Zylos gets purple. Gibbed on full spawn there. And uh, Baggy, well, the Winfax side have definitely been slowed down a lot by this Anexus defense now that the truck's been in position, Moose. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, Anexus weren't really getting a foothold on any of the other stages, but uh, they're getting in their rhythm now. And they're looking quite comfortable, so Winfax need to change something up instead of uh, to actually get this phase. They can't keep going at the same pace they were at the other stages. They have to do something new. Indeed. Oh, Mouse is going to get the gib on the Allied Engineer there. That's yeah, really I great think, stuff from him. I think I need some faster revives. The Nexus Indeed. is just getting like, all the important gibs. Baggy has been gibbed like, so many times. The Meg has been a bit too slow. And um, Baggy's now he's going to make his way forward, nading over the wall. And oh, Perfect is going to go down. But Baggy's going to get Xylos, which is big. Less spam from the Nexus side. And it looks like Winfact have pushed the Axis team back to their spawn. Did Ross just take a full spawn there for staying out? I think or he not. might have done, I'm not sure. I think he might sure. have taken a full spawn. If Ross has taken a full spawn, that's not going to be too great for the NX side. Also, Potty was trying to whisper to me the score for Oxid versus Almighty. I think Oxid have won 3-0 three, three by the sound of things, but... They're carrying on to play the next round to see if Almighty can pick something up. Grenade from Xylos at the top of the stage, and it looks like the Winfax side have finally pushed up, and they're going to get this final stage completed. And now all they have to do, well, I say all they have to do, is move this truck all the way back round to where they respawn at that command post area, at the top of the hill by the uh, little hut to cover the Thompson frag there. They're in a good position to do it, though, if they uh, stay alive and get a camp on. Indeed, but Ross Zylos and Zylos try and stop not them. letting them do that oh, just Perfum, now, though. massive oh. frag onto Zylos there. Do you think, what do you think of Perfum's performance, by the way, this land so far? He's been, uh, in my opinion, one of the best players for the Winfax side. Oh, yeah, Perfo is, like, you can give him as much stick as you want for, like, lowest damage or whatever, but he's always doing the right thing. He's just an all-around, like, good player. You need one of them in, like, every team. 
exactly. Like maybe doesn't uh, aim. Maybe that's something that maybe doesn't liked. aim like Takoa or do the objective like Baggies, but like he does the right thing at the right time and just comes out like. I definitely agree with Merlinator saying he's the game changer. Indeed, just like he does there when he moves in and gets the end. He gets the. Uh, I think he got Ross Gibb there, got Gibb there out on the west side of the, uh, the backstage, but the uh, next side are gonna self kill. Respawn. Oh, he nearly took out higher there, but Waggy's gonna clear up Byron and, and get the Gibb as well. And well, I'm getting reports back from Poi that Nevo have just taken a map off Dignitas in the. <laughs> Upper bracket final, I think that is actually. What? Upper bracket semi final, sorry. Because <laughs> the upper bracket finals could be tomorrow, isn't it? I do apologize, guys. I'm not too uh, hooked up with the infos today. As uh, Xylos gets a Luga frag there on the purple. Baggy throws a grenade out. Prone's in the back of that truck. And with. Uh, I can't believe Nebo have taken a map off Dignitas. Yeah, same. Um... Oh! Purple laying the smack That's down there big. as he moves, it move, moves in through this main gate. He's not going to get the third frag because Xylos is still lurking around with his Luger, but why is going to finish Dyla, him off. The poles working together to <laughs> actually get stuff done for once. Usually we call, we say the poles are like, on our event, we refer to them as like the useless ones, but uh, they're actually getting something done now. They've uh, got the truck. And a homo panzer first there from Baggies. Yeah, there's not really anything now Nexus can do, but you have to watch this truck go in. They're not going to be able to delay it at all, I think. Indeed. And uh, it's going to be an 11, just over 11 minutes set by WinFact against the Nexus on supply. Which is a bit slower than we were expecting, actually. Takoa did pick up three there, but I think he kill stole a bit from Baggies. <laughs> we'll give Baggies a bit of credit for once. <laughs> yeah, he. Um, it's definitely a bit slower than what it looked like to begin with. And Takoa having a great round. Takoa yeah. really playing well, actually. <laughs> yeah, Takoa is racking up the damage here. Indeed. Baggies, unfortunately. I think they need some uh, more revives, though. Oh, there you go. I've got my, uh, I've got my amazing on-hand live score bot, as if in effect. <laughs> Heroin and Potty to my left. They actually lost the first map. Dignitas, this is, to Nevo, which was Radar. So there you go. And uh, the second map is Gold Rush. <laughs> Poi loving the point of the camera. Boom. Can't get enough of that. And, uh, well. Oh, Mighty did lose, yeah. They lost to Oxid. Three, whatever. Yeah. Well. How does it feel that Almighty have been knocked out to a team that you beat? Uh, <laughs> did we beat them? You did beat them. Which team, Oxid? You beat Oxid 4 2. But then he oh lost to God. Nordic 4-0. I don't know, man. <laughs> it does not feel good. does not feel good. Um. So basically what we're saying is, Mies, we're at LAN. Cams is at LAN. You're at LAN. Cams does better at LAN than you. Yeah, what can I say? Um. Well, not a lot, to be fair. There's only so what much. Can you can, you there's do? only so far you can carry a team, you know. Uh, Cam seems to be the one to do that, actually. <laughs> yeah. I hope this game starts. Yeah, thank God this <laughs> game is starting. <laughs> Me, <laughs> he's unfortunately can't take it. He just, he just. Well, he's probably gonna go. He's just gonna leave and go away with Snoop and be a bit emo. <laughs> the, uh, the game is actually gonna start now. <laughs> Eleven minutes on the board. And the next side are now on the attack of Supply. Xylos leading the charge with the rifle grenade there. Ross jumps into the main. Grenade chucked up through the window by Ross. And let's have a speck of squid, see if he can show us any of his flag capturing magic that he always seems to pull out the bag. It's the Winfax side to self kill. And uh, the, raw, the revives, sorry, coming in from the next side are going to be pretty good. Mouse leading the charge along with Jay. Gets the frag to make that two frags actually. Bags of wires are going down and it looks like a clear route for the NX side. Baggies going down yet again. Does I lost his rifle grenade and really great stuff here from Squids. Moving in from the cave side. Cave side stay well. Purple gets the revive on his teammate again. Really good stuff there from the Dutchie. Also getting the frag on the J. Are they going to hold on to this frag? Purple. Oh, great grenade there from Baggies. Actually uh. saving them. Oh, as if they managed to take the flag there after that grenade. Stopped them from pushing in from the one side. I think they managed to push in just in behind him. It was definitely a good play from Perfo, but uh, just too much. Again, the look of the dice just not rolling their way in effect. Toilet, MP40 frag on the higher. Probably going to get the second. No, Baggies is going to do that instead. Quite unnecessary death from Perfo there. I think he's on tilt a uh, little bit here. Indeed. 
I'm pretty sure Baggies wants to beat Ross as well. In fact, I'm not sure what they, these guys are doing. <laughs> they, they, it seems a bit silly to just push in like that. I'm not really sure. Uh, they didn't even get the covert, so they've still got the covert with the uni. But they're not doing anything with it. Um, yeah, is well, that a mouse? I think because they put yeah, I think because they pushed forward, they didn't feel it you know necessary for them to actually push in. Yeah. And just get absolutely slaughtered by people up there. And oh that dear, was a terrible round oh dear. from Zylos. <laughs> that was almost as bad as Potty, <laughs> but manages to uh, actually. Redeem himself get, a little redeem bit. Redeem himself indeed by uh, getting a pretty nice frag with the Garand. The nine minutes left on the board. This is about the same amount of time that, well, that the uh, Winfax side had left at this stage, even though it took him a lot less. Yeah. It was about the uh, about the same time left on the board, I think, and the Winfax side now setting up a defence at the CP. FFE from the best field option in the UK, which is Buggies. And the NX side will self-kill and respawn. And now we're going to see them an exercise to move over to this CP if Silas doesn't get stopped here. Some awful rifle grenades this map. Indeed, he's uh, probably feeding the pressure a bit. I know that when he was playing, uh, when he was playing AF, I think it was or CRC7 maybe. Pretty sure he was a bit worried about facing Dingatas in the final again. This is a good, this is a good push again. from Euro from a Nexus now. Mouse takes out two of a CP, and Dial is going to respond to it, but it's too little, too late, because a Nexus are all over this CP. They're just going to wait for the cover, which will be Mouse, I think. And, uh, oh, they might have go for a plant on main here. What can Dyla do to oh. stop them? Nothing. Squish is going to poke him out, point him out just at the last second. They, even though Ross tripped the landmine, they're going to get the plant on that main gate. Dyla with an FFE as well. And I think the Yenex are sort of looking pretty strong at the moment. Eight minutes left on the board. Dyla doing his random push up the cave to see if he can stop them uh, from moving any further across this map. But is it the right decision or is it the wrong decision? He gets takes out one, which is Jay. I don't think they've got an engineer alive to defuse the gate, but it could be wrong. It's a <laughs> mouse actually spots somebody lying on that dynamite rifle grenade. They oh, come yes. in, excellent but he's not going to take Bromiadro. him out. Why Agile gets the defuse in the end on that depot gate as the NX side pushed down. Did Tako? I think Tako did take a full spawn. There's the dynamite goes down again. Yellow on that main gate. Does it get planted? Yes, it does. And the NX side self kill, and they're going to be in a good position to defend this dynamite this time instead of having to uh, defend it for a good 20 seconds, then self kill and give uh, Winfact a chance to uh, respawn and defuse that main gate. I don't think he's even going to bother looking to try and defuse this with a second left on the respawn. Nah, they definitely can't do it. They're just going to halt. Uh, it's, it's not worth taking a risk on this phase. This is by far like the easiest phase to hold in supply. This is where you turn, even if like you're getting raped on the first two phases. Uh, this is the phase where it comes, you turn it around and you can set up like a 10 minute hold just with, like watch it stopping the truck getting in position. And uh, the Polish combo there, stopping the NX is pushing the main as the truck just manages to uh, come around the corner. Ross diving at the double doors there, possibly a bit foolish with Dyla standing on the wall. And actually, somehow the Winfax side have managed to defuse that east wall dynamite, which is going to be really, really bad for the next side. It means they've got to waste another good 30 seconds to a minute trying to get the plant on the main gate. But as I say that, they get three frags and the truck starts to drive in towards this main gate. Tokoa and Purfo holding their position around the truck area. Jay pushes in, he's going to get gibbed, I would imagine. No, he doesn't. Really great revive there from Squiz yet again. Dyla with a double frag. Ross and Jay re uh, redeeming the the uh, next side, and it looks as if the Winfuck side are going to have to self kill. And well, they, they just keep, they just seem to, well, I can't, I don't know what they're doing. They just seem to be doing the right thing for, you know, 99% of their time, and then they're either just getting a bit unlucky at that last sector, you know, the section of the defense or the attack, and then the next side just managed to get through it. Pressure's affecting them a little, I feel. Um... Like, here they've gone all the way back upstairs, and uh, I've I don't never think actually seen them do this, to be honest. Yeah, I don't, I've not seen them do this. Like, the, obviously, there are teams that, like, like Fantastic Five did this a lot online. Yeah. Just like they ignored the outside and would fall back really early, but this isn't something WinFact do, so. Indeed, this is uh, what I'm pretty sure this is what the uh, the Finns did to you in the EC final again, wouldn't it? They all went up and held you for 12 minutes. <laughs> um, maybe. <laughs> I think yeah, it I'm was. This. The Anexa side are going to push in up the top here. Tokoa getting the first frag. Wyarja with the second. Right for Granny there from Zylos. He's going to take down his, uh, his medic, Maus. And uh, I don't think even with that team kill, they were going to be moving anywhere anytime soon. To and be the fair to them, side, this is going well. Indeed, like... the the uh, upstairs defense seems to have not so much confused the Anexa side, but put them off a slight bit. I wouldn't, like me and Misa saying, we weren't imagining them to actually go up to an up top defense here. As Baggies is aggressive at East with those landmines. As an engineer, squeeze with the Thompson frag here onto Dyla. As an Anaconda GTV times out, Ross stands right next to a grenade to take as much damage as he can. 
And now he's going to push. Yeah, naturally. Standing in the way. Ross goes down to Purfo. He's going to get Gib there. Yeah, really well played bad. there from the Duchy almost, again. Almost pretty much a long spawn as well. Indeed. And I reckon the Inexa side are going to have to wait up for the... Oh! Why well, actually almost take it down two people there. Purfo with another Thompson frag. Xylos. Oh! Oh dear, oh, and all over the place in there. absolutely yeah, rocking it so at the top of the stairs. And the uh, an exercise are going to have to hold off for a very, very long time now because they've only got about two people alive for this respawn. Squiz, oh, squiz. double Thompson frag there, Purple and Takoa both going down. It's on the short spawn though, I think they've got enough time to get back up there. Oh, oh no, Ross is alive. Ross is alive. Oh, oh, massive double kill from Yadro, takes out Squiz and Ross. What can you do? <coughs> he's having a brilliant game, I must say, like he's just... He's in the right place at the right time, getting the diffusers, getting the big double kills. Left alone, and just say, hey, I'm pretty he's impressed. A, he's taken a bit of the uh, a bit of the stick that we've been giving him on board, where he just wasn't playing that well the other day in the group stages, as he manages to picks up another frag, gives another engineer. Indeed, as he manages to. Uh, Stop the engineer from making his way up the top of the stage, and it was the rifle grenade as well. Who is the man to do the biggest, you know, sets of damage at the top of this stair stairwell? As Ross makes his way in, Takoa gets the frag. He's going to get the gib onto Squiz. His medic as well. Really good stuff here. And Wyatt is going to be forced to self kill after this spawn because he's uh, he's got no ammo in any of his guns, and I don't think they've got a field ops left. So they're all, as you can see, pushing out for the moment. No, he's found Wyatt some more rifle grenades. Uh, he's, this is he's a bit of a Zylos. this is a bit of a crazy decision, I reckon. He's only got two garage bullets left in well in this weapon but he has got three rifle grenades has he got any more grenades left just standard grenades i don't think he will so if the uh an exercise managed to get past the first rifle grenade i think it's going to be a uh, stage over but the winfax side have hold on, held on for a very long time why actually takes down one of the medics which is jay as ross team kill squiz gets another frag along with mouse and dialer is now the last man standing i do believe and that uh, mouse is going to get oh, oh he's going to get ross Dyla has actually managed to give the engineer there at the top as I switch points of view. I'm sorry for that. Oh, the crane controls have been constructed. There. I think they must have jumped up the back there. And uh, even though Dyla did do a, he did actually whip out a bit of his random magic again at the top of the stairs. The next side have managed to push them back to the very, very last stage defence, which is the uh, the stage where you have to drive the truck all the way back up. And with two minutes, 18 seconds left on the board, Winfat getting the frags at just the right time here. Squiz getting the revives. He's not going to self kill. Gonna, they're going to have to self kill, I think. Oh. On over the nod, Zylos is going to try and stay alive. Try to get a spawn frag there with the rifle grenades. He shoots another one out towards that west side. Mouse, Mouse double, double Thompson kill. frag yet again from Mouse. Takoa moving around the, the uh, west side of this wall as the truck continues to move on. Xylos double grand frag there, and it looks as if the truck is slowly slipping away from this Winfax side. One minute 50 seconds on the Perfo board. Perfo with the Luger. And uh, he doesn't dodge the grenade from Xylos, who's pretty much opened up the entire defense here for the NX side of just pushing through that main gate. Squiz around the west side of the. Uh, off the depot stage now, he's going to come into contact with the Axis respawn, takes down one of them, gets the revive there from Dyla, does Baggies, as uh, Yajo continues to take a lot of damage in the back, and Purfo and Baggies just managed to hold on, but even though they keep stopping this defence, the truck does keep this consistently is. moving around around the corner. This is a massive attack now for a Nexus. This is a key moment in the game, and uh, Dial is going to be there to try and stop his attack, but it's not going to be enough. Purfo sits in that truck, what's he going to do? He's going to stand by that dynamite and absolutely brick it with one minute, six seconds left on the board. Oh, Here comes the NX side now. the pressure is on. It's going to be another one of Purfo's moments, so it's not higher with a double Thompson frag there as he manages to uh, possibly Rehabra save the game again with a three-man frag there from higher. Ross with a Thompson frag as well. And I don't think the Winfax side are going to hold on for too, long. They, too much longer. They need to hold on for about 30 seconds more if they want any chance of uh, surviving in this map. Squiz with a Colt frag, and I can't see any more Axis players left alive, Mies. I think it's going like to be a good game. It's definitely all she wrote for the Winfax side that, that one attack was oh. the key but uh they uh they couldn't hold on to it they looked like they were going to do it but they still have enough crossfire on main and uh the next side all pushed in at the same time and uh there was just wasn't enough response i thought it was going good for them with the upstairs defense yeah, indeed, but it just man. fell apart so and unfortunately the winfax side are going to be uh going to the loser bracket am i right uh yeah Loser so that's bracket, loser bracket for Winfact. And even though they did take it very close with an Nexus, I, I tell you what, after watching an Nexus's performance there and watching Winfact's performance alongside them, I reckon an Nexus are definitely beatable in the next game. So I tell you what, 
We'll uh, go for a short break now as we find out what game we're going to jump into. What about Dignitas? Well, I don't know. I don't know what server they're on, which is why I need to can run and find them. Can you server info? Oh, can you do that? Yeah, I think so. Uh, oh. Play online. It's a solid idea, Mies. Yeah. That'd be Goldrush, maybe, server info. What server is it? Let's scroll down. Yeah. Server one. Uh, can't type. <laughs> but we managed to get on the server anyway, so don't worry about the break. We'll just do the rest of this game and then yeah. I'll go get a drink because we've got five minutes left. And Does anyone know what map this is? This is second map and Nevo are defending. And the truck. Well, here we go. It's round one of the second map and Nevo are not going to full hold the Dignitas side. I believe this is... Which map is this? Second. Who? No, whose map is this? Well, we don't know whose map it is, but uh, Dignitas are at least going to set a time by the look of things. Default. Oh, Nevo, sorry. Right, okay. Nevo have actually picked Gold Rush, just to let you know. And uh, it looks like... Well, I said it before, the Dignitas side do look as if they're going to set a time. Airstrike thrown out from the Allies here. Super going to come into contact with Jakaz as the rest of the Dignitas side push on forwards. Knight and Drago, Thompson frags each. And I don't think the Axis side are anywhere near enough close to the to the truck to stop it. Anderson kill revives Drago there. Does self-kill. Squall going to stop any more Axis players from reaching them to uh, stop the truck. Drago with yet another Thompson frag again. Jerry with a K43. And a time is going to be put on the board for the Dignitas side and uh, if they defend as well as they defended against Almighty I know Almighty aren't even half as good as Nevo realistically but if they do defend as strong as they did against Almighty I reckon they're uh, I reckon they got a, a pretty good chance of uh, holding off for a full hold and putting this to a third map moves yeah my money has definitely got to be on dig with uh, a time like this um 10 minutes on the board, I think. Especially when you play against Dig, uh, be, like, if they, when you're playing against Dig and you have to beat a time, it, it's just so, there's so much pressure. You know like what they're capable of and you, you just like you feel like you can't waste an attack and that puts more pressure on each individual attack. Yeah. And um, uh, it's going to be really difficult for Nevo, especially with like, since they're, well, they're not really a new team, but uh, well, they were for this land, so. Yeah. Whereas Dig have been around for so long. They really shine in the pressure situations. Indeed. I, mean, I can't say the same for Nevo. Right, well, I tell you what, because I think a couple of the Belgians have actually gone to the toilet, I think I might do the same. So I'm going to leave you in charge with Mies. I'm going to leave Mies in charge with the camera, actually. Can you and I'm going to And I'm going to, what? Cut the music. Alright then, well, we're going to cut the music while we have a tiny little break. So I'll be back in a sec. And uh, hopefully the game will start in no time at all.